Repair Assistant is an intelligent analysis tool that looks at the audio and determines what, if any, processing may be needed. It's accessible from the upper right corner of the standalone RX application. Earlier versions were mostly automatic, but from RX 10 on, the module window provided more interaction with the user. Repair Assistant incorporates several processes. By default, they're all enabled, and it makes sense to leave them on, since you can easily turn off any processor after the analysis is done. Using Repair Assistant is basically a two-step process. First, you select the type of audio you're about to apply it to. The processing modes include voice, musical, percussion, and sound effects. Voice, naturally, is intended for both sung and spoken vocal tracks. Musical is intended for regular musical instruments, piano, guitar, strings, etc. While percussion is specifically for drums and percussion, instruments with strong transients, which might be misinterpreted by the musical algorithm. Finally, sound effects is for general purpose sounds, as in film audio or ambient backgrounds. As you could see when I switched between them, each mode incorporates specific changes to the processor options and underlying algorithms to make it most suitable for that kind of source material. Once you've selected the processing mode, then you just click Learn, and Repair Assistant analyzes the entire file and applies the appropriate processing to address whatever issues it identifies. Picked myself up from the pavement. You can preview the result. Picked myself up from the pavement. Or use compare to A-B it against the original audio. Picked myself up from the pavement once more and I swore this time that's enough. And if the processing is all good, then you're done and you can render the finished repaired audio file. If you feel you want to tweak the results, Repair Assistant lets you do that directly from the module window. Each process has a button to enable or disable it, and a depth control to increase or decrease the strength of that particular process. There's also a button, the ear, that lets you solo the audio being repaired or removed. This can be a good way to get a sense of whether the processing is being applied too heavily. If you hear too much regular audio in addition to the noise being removed, then it might be appropriate to back off on the depth of that process. Again, once you get a result you like, you can hit Render and you're done. But inveterate tweakers may want to go further in customizing the processing, and that's also possible by opening the underlying module chain. Here, you can open the full module window for each of the processing modules used by Repair Assistant and access the full set of controls. This can be useful for not only more detailed customization of specific processing, but also for reverse engineering repair assistance automatic processing choices. The entire module chain can even be saved as a preset for future use. Along with the new GUI, RX10 also introduced a plug-in version of the repair assistant. We'll look at that in the next video.